Hey everybody. Uh, had a guy send me a message. He was like, uh, "What? You need like an office or something to do all your videos in? You know, you know, you're always doing them when you're driving." To which I replied, "You're in the office, baby. Going up." Which makes no sense in that context, but I thought it'd be cool because that's what Denzel says in Training Day. You're in the office, baby. Going up. See, he's not quite nearly as cool when I say as when Denzel does. But anyway, I figured out the problem with flights. And the problem with flights and airlines and flying are people. People ruin it. It is unbelievable to me the amount of selfishness coupled with the amount of stupidity that people display when it comes to flying. It's like, like they don't understand how life works. One guy upset because he didn't get a snack on a 42 minute flight. I don't think you need a NyQuil cup size full of Diet Coke and four pretzels that bad. But just throw in a fit. It, <laughs> I was on a flight a few weeks ago and um, they got us on there just waiting and waiting and waiting and finally a uh, guy comes over the loudspeaker and he says hey uh, we're gonna have to get everybody off the plane because uh, you know one of our engines isn't working the guy beside me goes well why don't we just fly with one why don't you just fly with one let the rest of us sane people get off here and you can fly with your one engine Tell you what, let's land, I'll go to your car, I'll loosen four of the five lugs off your wheel, and you get up to 70 miles an hour on the interstate, and let me know how that works out for you. Fly with, you can't fly with one engine, you'd fly in a circle the whole time. <laughs> and then he's in the terminal because we have to wait till the engine's fixed, and the terminal goes, yeah, we're going to get home four hours late. True, but you know what the most important part of that statement is? You're getting home. That's the important part of the two parts of that sentence, idiot. But my biggest problem are the people that don't know how to get off of the plane. You know, when the plane lands, they open the door, everybody wants to leave. And everybody, first of all, they start lining up 10 minutes before. The, I don't know why. I've never understood that. I'm on the, I'm on the aisle, and the woman in the window asked me if I'm going to stand up. You know, they're on row two, we're in row 30. We, we've got time. They're not going to forget about you. You're not going to have to automatically go to Detroit if you don't get off the plane. You know, you're going to... But there are people that for, come from the rows behind you that will go in front of you. Those people need to be shot with a bullet from a gun. That statement will probably get me kicked off of YouTube, but it's still... It, if that story got around that um, you could actually shoot stuff, nobody would do that anymore. People was like, oh, well, I've got somewhere to be. We all have some place to be. Nobody wants to be sitting there. If you don't want to wait like the rest of society, then buy first class and, you know, get off the plane first. But when you want to pay your $275 round trip, you have to sit and coach with the rest of us schlubs and row 46. That's the way life works. I don't know how you can be opposed to the death penalty after some... <laughs> okay, that's a little much. Uh, thanks for listening to me, Rank, guys. I'll talk to you soon. See you.